start with the scale at zero, keyframe it, and by about then it will be 100. And if you want different sizes, change the 100 to 130 or whatever, uh, if they pop up different sizes. Um, depends on how you want them, how you scatter them around. And again, as I said, you do the text in exactly the same manner. You make you just line it up and keyframe them. Uh, like I said, if you have any problems, post a comment or message me, and I'll be sure to get to that. And so when that's done, uh, they seem to pop down. So they last and they go down. So if they go down by 13 seconds, I'd say uh, the scale should be zero. And by then it should be 100. There we go. Uh, let's just repeat this for all of them. Uh, if you just click the little keyframe thing there and go to 13 seconds and then go to zero, uh, that'll keyframe, make another keyframe uh, of what the predicted, well, other value is at that moment. Uh, so with it being 100, it'll stay at 100, I'll go through that keyframe and then it'll get to zero about this point. So that's a good tip to uh, understand. I'm sure a lot of people that know that. So the scale again, just click the keyframe, make sure it's before that a little bit, and then zero. Um, I'm not matching these up because it's all random. It gives a better effect, I feel. Uh, if you want them to be exactly the same, of course, match them up. <laughs> Common sense. Um, make another keyframe, and zero. There we have it. So we've got that last one that kind of pops down. A oh, nice effect. And finally, make some new text, and I'll call this the finisher, like so. Uh, the size to about 100, I think. That looks good. I'll leave it at the blue for now, however, we're not going to keep it like that. That's just so you can see it. And I'm just going to go to File New. I'm going to make a new solid. I'm going to make the first solid. Uh, ready color, okay, okay. Decrease the size loads, and I'm going to center it up uh, about there. I'm going to make it below the finisher, in fact. Finisher text a little bit smaller, like so. There we go. As so I'm going to control day, control, control day, control D rather. I'm going to go below it. I'm going to go to Effect, Generate, and Fill. And so I'm going to fill this with a different color, say, of another blue. I'm going to make sure these actually fit for size. So to make sure, because I just noticed them just then while having a quick look, uh, they don't finish the canvas. So there we go. Okay, so then Control D on that one. Uh, Command D again. Like so, so we'll have four. We'll have four bars going across. So this one can be a green, say, and then this one can be a. It could be a bright yellow. Like so, there we go. And so the effects on this text is, oh, not the text rather the. Uh, the bars coming across, we're going to start them later on as well as a finisher text. So if the circles have all gone down by 13 seconds or whatever, the bars shouldn't start before, we'll say 14 seconds if it went down, but then there we go. And so on the first one, I'm just going to go to the transform tool on it and the scale, in fact now the position, I'm going to make sure it comes in by about 15 seconds. So key from the position there, go to the start and make it to the left, hold shift, like so. So it comes in and follow these keyframes for the same. Do the similar effect to the second one. However, I want this one to come in from a different angle. <clears throat> so uh, the position should be keyframed there. 
and then to start with it should be to the right so hold shift again so it's straight and so there you have it they both come in vice versa uh, so we don't for the top two do it for the second two transform so it starts there we'll keyframe the position there and go to when it should come in by about there obviously again these don't have to be matched up perfectly you know, it gives a nice effect maybe if they're not exactly the same uh, final one this is going to come from the right again so keyframe the position uh, when it starts it's going to be on the right and then when it finishes should be about there I don't even keyframe it how about that anyway from the start wait hang on yeah ah I see so start that there and then it comes in and it goes to the right like so ah so there we have it however you notice the text is blue so obviously you just want to change this uh, change the color to the yellow like so yeah, so that gives the nice effect that the bars are revealing the text. Uh, very nice. Maybe it might look better actually with the four bars. I maybe made them a little bit too big. However, that's down to you. Like so. And uh, but no, I think that gives a really nice effect. And what am I doing there? Typography. Here we go. Uh, we've got the opening title, the second, the third, uh, the spheres, uh, and the finisher. Uh, however, you notice one final thing on the opening title it's got some kind of grunge going on and a nice overlay um, but I didn't actually cover a very cheap way of doing this I'll just go to file I'm going to go to file import file and I'm going to import uh, the grunge texture I just typed in you can just type in grunge on Google images find what you want now overlay it here make sure it fits the canvas it's not even the best ideal um, but then hit change the mode to probably overlay like so so that way it overlays onto the opening title and gives a very nice effect maybe a little bit strong so you can lower the opacity just hit T on your keyboard to about 60 uh, maybe use something like 40 make sure it fits the whole timeline though however and there you have it that gives a very nice effect gives like a more rustic feel um, but that's all from this typography tutorial I uh, hope you guys picked up some tips uh, thanks for watching uh, I guess uh, not a long winded video anyway thanks for watching this video guys I'm a kind of a chrome designs uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you liked it please remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon